What is up guys? Welcome back to the Brave Angler. Today we have an awesome video for you guys and we have some huge announcements. And to go along with that, Halloween is right around the corner so we are going to be making a couple Halloween themed baits. Now the idea that we're going to try and do today is that not only are they going to be Halloween themed, but they also got to be able to catch fish. That being said, as crazy as we can make these baits, we want them to at least be somewhat functional. So we're going to be modifying some Halloween colors a little bit to kind of make them fish catching machines. And we're going to be making some 10 inch ribbon worms. We're going to be making some jerk baits and then we're also going to be making some crawls. Let's get into making some baits and then we will get into some special news in the name of Halloween trick or treating. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and make some worms. Now, I already have figured out this formula and uh, really, it came out quite great. So we got one cup of our softest, uh, our softest plastic salt. Go ahead and get this cooking. All right, so we got our worm molds right now heating up. So they should be about done heating. So we'll go ahead and get those off. And ready to go. All right, we still got a minute left on that. All right, so we're gonna mix this color and then we'll be right back. about hot enough. See where we're at thermal wise. It's actually a really nice day to be doing this. Really nice day out today. Should have been fishing, but all right. So we're at 356, excuse me. So we'll go ahead and add our color. Now for this color, we're gonna do 40 drops of the Floor Orange 124 by Lower Works. All right. Then we're gonna do two of the quarter teaspoons, or you could just do a half teaspoon of the black 0.4 hex, and then two quarter teaspoons of the grain. Go ahead and mix this up. Looking great. Put it in our vacuum chamber. All right, we're sitting at 320, which is probably about my favorite temperature to uh, for the soft, softer plastic to blast at. All right, take our hand injector. guys you ready for the reveal what we are left with are these yummy yummy worms all right guys so we're gonna do a couple more runs of these and then we'll get into our murder shad or killer shad we haven't really figured out a name yet but that one's gonna be the one I'm excited for all right guys let's just go ahead and make this uh, killer shad murder shad whatever we decide to call it so for this we're gonna use white pearl and red flake to kind of give it like a blood splatter kind of look on the white background. So, let's go ahead and uh, get the white pearl. For this, we'll probably do, for this one cup, we'll do, let's start with two quarter teaspoons of the pearl. See what we get with that. All right, that's looking pretty good. We'll do another half of the quarter teaspoon, a little bit more, just to solidify it, just a little bit more. We don't want it too see-through, but we still want it see-through enough to be able to see the red sparkle. All right, and then for this, we're going to do 
0.5 red flake. Let's see, one, two, let's go ahead and do three. All right, let's see what we got. Go ahead and zap it for 30 more seconds. Get it nice and uh, back up the heat so that we can go ahead and throw it in the vacuum chamber. All right, let's go ahead and blast it. I don't know if that's quite what we were going for. Let's uh, let's let's see what how it came out first before we add anything else. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more white, but let's uh, let's see what we got first. Um, I mean it's not bad. Let me kind of show you guys. I mean it didn't come out bad, you know. Just, uh, yeah, let's add a little bit of white. Yeah, well, yeah, let's add just a smidgen of white. Pretty close, but we're gonna add some white to just give it a little bit more of that white with the blood splatter look, you know? I feel like, especially from my teenage years, I was like really nostalgic, like all the bands were doing that. Yeah, add a little bit of white here. Let's see what that gets us. I think that's going to be it right there. So let's go ahead and uh, throw it back in, get it nice and hot because we added color, you know, there's some moisture in there. We'll uh, run it back through the uh, vacuum chamber. I think that's going to be a lot more what I was going for. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, see. All right, guys. So that. Oh, get the glare off for you. That is definitely more of what we are going for. That is awesome. All right, guys, so we're going to shoot a bunch of these uh, murder chats, and then uh, we'll be back with uh, when we start doing the blood harvest in the crawl. All right, guys, so we got one more bait to make, uh, which is going to be the blood harvest four-inch crawl or informant. So, uh, yeah. Let's get to this. All right, guys, so we got our plastic. We're gonna do two cups, so that means 80 drops of the Green Pumpkin 109 uh, for the blood harvest. So let's go ahead and get that in there. All right, that's about 80 drops. Now, for the red, kind of heavy on the red, so we'll do three for every cup, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then for the black, two for every cup. So we got one. Two, three, and four. All right, let's mix it up, see where we're at. All right, guys, what is up? So the camera did die, and uh, but we were able to finish our crawls in the uh, in the blood harvest color. They came out really good. So. To give you guys kind of a rundown, this is all Caroline's idea, by the way, with Halloween coming up. And as I promised, we have some exciting news. Just stick with us for a couple more seconds, all right? So just to give you guys a rundown of the baits we made. So we have the jack-o'-lantern worms. They, we were calling them Pumpkin King, but then Stevie reminds me that Jack Skellington is not orange so we're calling them jack-o'-lantern a little childhood history right there <laughs> but like i said here are the jack-o'-lantern worms 10 inch ribbon worms or narcs as we like to call them and then of course all the blood harvest crawls and then finally we have the murder shad jerk baits 
And we actually uh, continue on with our prototype. We did make a few of these, but what all this is kind of boiling down to guys, and I'll let Caroline reveal what we got going on. All right guys, so super exciting announcement. I know that Stevie has kind of foreshadowed this a little bit. Um, we did get something in a couple weeks ago. We just have been trying to figure out the perfect time to kind of share it with you guys and really launch it. So, um, we got our bags for the Brave Angler. Um, thanks to you guys. You guys have really made this possible for us um, and your continued support is what kind of really led us to do this. Um, Stevie designed the entire um, packaging, front and back. Super awesome. We're really, really excited about this, guys. And since we're so excited about this, we are actually going to be giving away two of these limited edition Halloween bags of a sequence of the baits that we just showed you guys on to two of our YouTube subscribers. So as a thank you to you guys, there's going to be two that we're going to be giving out. So stay tuned for that. Also, we're going to be launching our website. So if you are not a winner of one of these two giveaways, we are also going to put maybe two or three since they're so limited in quality on our quantity. Sorry, quantity, not quality. Since they're so limited in quantity, we're going to be putting two on our brand new launch of our website. So be sure to check out our new website, braveanglerco.com be two of these on there as well as some of our black and blue worms that we showed you guys in the last video. So thank wasn't in the last video. I don't know what you've been putting out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as well as some of our black and blues that you guys have been seeing us catch some fish on, those are also going to be available on the website. So All right, guys. So, <laughs> Carol, Caroline kind of touched on a few things. I'm so she actually had the great idea of bringing, having a little something for the parents that are trick or treating with their kids this year. So we actually made all these baits not only to launch our business, but we are going to be handing a lot of these out to trick or treating dads and moms that fish. And. Honestly, I can't think of a better way to launch a company than, you know, bringing smiles to our community. So we are super excited about that. Like Caroline said, we are going to have a couple available for you guys. Um, for those that don't, we're calling it what? The Monster Mash Sample Pack? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so, so like she said, we'll have everything linked down in the description below with the new website. Uh, we are going to try and have a way that you can go through our website for our giveaways to verify. Um, we're still working on that, but um, we're kind of doing everything ourselves. Like uh, we designed our website, as Caroline mentioned, we designed our bags. And like I said, I am very excited because I absolutely love making my own baits and they have caught us fish. And now uh, I, I would say that these are the three baits that we're actually adding to the sample pack that has shaped our way of fishing. Um, we do have a couple other ones that uh, we'll be releasing later on once we get them fixed. Uh, like, for example, our five inch swim baits. Um, we're still kind of working on a formula to get the action just right with those. So those won't be released until uh, we can figure that out. But we also will have, for all you drop shotters, you know with how much Caroline loves being the drop shot queen, we had to have a drop shot bait. So uh, we will ha we uh, we have these available as well. Um, right now, um, the Blood Harvest and the Black and Blue are the only official colors that we have. Uh, of course, if you guys would like custom stuff, just give us a message, and we will see what we can do for you guys. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and bag all these up and get them ready for Halloween. So, what do you think the code word should be today for for one of the Monster bag giveaways? Mash. Monster Mash. All right, so the code word to enter to win one of these bags will be Monster Mash. Uh, and is it Monster Mash or Monster Bash? I think it's Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. I'll yeah. do that mash. Okay, yeah. Well, Monster Mash. <laughs> Anyways, so Monster Mash will be the code word for this. And that code word will also enter you into our 500 subscribe or journey to 500 subscribers giveaway, which is the Abu Garcia Rod. Make sure you're subscribed though. 
Yes, you gotta make sure you're subscribed. You will not be eligible for any of these giveaways unless you are subscribed to the channel. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we're halfway there to the 500 subscribers. More than journey. half. Yeah, we're more than halfway there. So, uh, and we actually have another giveaway lined up right after that one concludes. That will be what, the journey to a thousand? Maybe we'll make it 750. This is this one's kind of dragging on a little while. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you guys have been so awesome. And like I said, we want to give back to you guys because you're making our dreams come true. Like I, I know that might be a little premature to say at the end of the day, you guys were the inspiration behind all this as we put our catchphrase on our bags. And, and like I said, like I would have never thought I would in a million years be making baits, you know, as part of a profession. And like I said, that's all because of you guys. So we definitely want to get back to you guys. We want to show our appreciation and why not give some free stuff and some free baits? So this is everything guys. This is all you. And uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Now go catch a fish.